there is a huge, major, breaking news story coming out of the U.S. military right now that everybody should be talking about, but nobody knows about it because it's being suppressed by Google, and I'm sure this video is going to get shadow banned unless you stop right now, like it, and share it, and get other people to share it. It's a story that would literally change the narrative of the last five years if anybody would talk about it, but nobody has the guts to. We're going to get into it. If you don't think we're in a battle for the mind right now, think again. You can talk about all the other preps you can make, and I'm not saying they're not important, but right now the primary focus of North Americans needs to be the battlefield of the mind. Now, primarily, we talk about that over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. We just put up a brand new video yesterday over there. For those of you that want to join, help out the Florida Maquis, get the truth out, it's only $1.00 per month. That's it. Even less if you sign up for an entire year and fully refundable for the first 90 days. No questions asked. If it could be less than a dollar a month, I'd charge less. It's about having the the financial speed bump there to keep the trolls away and to keep the censors away. Partnering with Vimeo, we can do that. It's not perfect, but we can and ask anyone who's over there right now down in the comments section. Believe me, it's information you're definitely going to want to know. Now, over the last, I don't know how many years, people have been all up in arms about all of these illegals coming to this country, all of these undocumented people coming to this country, and how they're going to change our culture. <coughs> how our culture is going to suffer for it, and how things are going to be worse because of it. Well, guess what? This story out of the Marine Corps is going to change your mind on this because there's something going on right now that is a far greater threat to our culture than these people ever will be. Let me ask you a question. How many of you know what this flag is? How many of you know that it's not banned anywhere in South America or Central America? Now, many of you are like, Okay, Florida Maki, I just I screenshotted that real quick and I googled it. It's the flag of Spain. Why would it be banned? Well, gosh, don't we have flags that are banned here in North America? Well, we sure do. At least online, there's certain flags that if you show them, you'll get kicked offline. And you'll be banned. Now, why is that the case? You see... If I were to remove the girl from this picture, this video would probably get demonetized and taken down because of the flag underneath. Now, people saying, well, that was the side that lost in a war that we had, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, guess what? There was something called the Spanish Revolution, and it took place all across South and Central America, right about the time... We were having those problems and those issues here. <coughs> now, even though all of these countries down here won their freedom from Spain, they didn't ban the flag of Spain, did they? No, they didn't. Now, I'm sure a lot of like, Florida Maquis, what's this story you're talking about? What's going on? How many of you remember this over the last three to four years? Biden must purge military and law enforcement of white nationalists. The violent far-right, this is Council on Foreign Relations, the violent far-right terrorist threat to the U.S. military. Joe Biden warns of the domestic terrorism of white supremacy. Biden calls white supremacy most dangerous terrorist threat in speech at Howard. You ready for this? U.S. Marine arrested after vowing to erase white people. Now, I know the, the writing on this is small, so I'm going to read it for you. A black New Jersey man who enlisted last year has been accused of plotting to carry out, plotting to carry out mass murder. <coughs> a U.S. Marine Corps rifleman who completed basic training last year has been arrested on allegations that he threatened to kill as many white people as possible. Joshua Cobb, a 23-year-old New Jersey native, was jailed on May 10, and discharged from the Marine Corps on the same day. Until then, he had been serving as a private first class in the 1st Marine Division in California. 
He was charged with transmitting a threat via the internet, which is punishable by up to five years in prison and a quarter of a million dollar fine. Federal prosecutors announced Cobb's arrest on Monday, citing alleged threats dating back to December 2022, about six months before he joined the military. A Marine Corps spokeswoman told Military.com that the 1st Marine Division learned of the allegations against Cobb from civilian authorities in New Jersey. Prosecutors cited a social media post in which Cobb threatened to, quote, cause mayhem on the white community, unquote. The post said, and this is the quote here, the reason I specifically want to target white people is because as a black male, they will never understand my struggles. I want to erase them, all of them really, but in this case, as many as I possibly can. The Post indicated that Cobb planned to carry out his attack against white people in 2023 in New Jersey. Quote, I have not chosen an exact date, but I am going to be sure it is close to an important holiday to their race, he he allegedly said. Quote, I have a location in mind already, which I have frequented for the past year, and I am certain nobody there is armed to be able to stop me from spraying them to the ground. <clears throat> Later messages posted in April and May of 2023 indicated that Cobb was training for an attack while stockpiling ammunition. Quote, I hope I, hope I do prog- progress into a serial killer because I effing hate life, man. But one day everyone will suffer. I promise I will make everyone feel my effing pain, my deep, sincere, raw, and sharp pain. Cobb admitted in statements to law enforcement that he wrote the threatening posts, prosecutors said. They added that he also told investigators that he idolized mass shooters and that he had considered such locations as a fitness center and an Aldi grocery store for his attack. More threatening messages were discovered in search of Cobb's cell phone, prosecutors said. The messages indicated that Cobb saw mass murder as the only possible escape from his pain. Quote, I'm ready to get to the good part of my story where I start taking you MFers out and killing you all. Now, once again, if I just show this flag, I get demonetized, I get kicked off social media, I get called all sorts of names with no repercussions. But we're the ones being divisive? You see, if I were to refer to these two people here, these two people here as, uh, well, there's an F word. That's why I'm permanently banned from Twitter, what they call X. Those of you that are all so excited about, uh, oh, what's his name? The, uh, the billionaire with the, the space, Elon Musk. Think he's so cool? Yeah, I'm banned from it because I refer to these two using the wrong word. See, there's F words and N words. Words we can't even use. Words we can't even use. But these people <coughs> fought a war. They fought a war against Spain for their independence. And to this day, To this day, you can still show a Spanish flag down there, and nobody cares. Nobody said, hey, you know, Spain ruled us like a tyrant with kings and queens. We shouldn't allow that flag to be flown, but they don't care because they believe in freedom. Yes, that's right. They believe in freedom a lot more than some people here in our North American culture believe in freedom. Because who's the group saying, I can't say the N-word? Who's the group saying, I can't use the F-word? Who's the group saying, I can't show this flag or that flag? Those are the people you want to defend? That's the culture you want to protect? The most popular video on YouTube is Despacito. Just like it sounds. Louis Fonsi. D-E-S-P-A-C-I-T-O. The entire thing is in the Spanish language. And funny thing, I don't see anybody in that video who is confused about who is a man and a woman. None whatsoever. No confusion. 
If you don't think you're in a battlefield for the mind, think again. There are people right here who are far greater enemies than those who are coming across the border. I'm just going to say it again. There are people here who are far greater enemies to your freedom and your liberty than those who are coming across the border. <clears throat> I'll leave it there. Sorry, I got a little animated and that kind of gets to my voice a little bit, but that nobody is talking about this story out of the Marine Corps, to me, is just proof. And you can read it right here. That nobody is talking about this after everything Biden has said over the, about the military and about the threat from, from white supremacy. If that's not a PSYOP, I don't know what is. If that's not psychological operations, that nobody is talking about this other than me, I don't know what is. And I'll leave it there. Love to have you at Patreon. Could sure use the help. Like I said, it's only a buck. There's a $5 level over there as well. Half, you know, handful of videos for those folks. A couple other levels, if you really want to step up, it would be really great. Not required. 99.999% of the videos over there are for the dollar level. Dollar a month. Fully refundable. First 90 days. Love to have you. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.